Welcome to the Solenced Customer video series. In this video, we provide tips on how to get the most accurate readings from the Solenced Model 104 Sonic Water Level Meter. So what is Sonic technology and how does it work? Sonic uses sound waves to detect a water level in any closed tube. It's a non-intrusive method with nothing being lowered down the well. The sonic water level meter is set up at surface with no open tube space around the probe. We'll touch on this a bit more later. Here, we're using a solenced well-mount field table to support the control unit. When the sonic water level meter is turned on, the probe generates a sound pulse that travels down the well until it makes contact with water and is reflected back to the probe. A microphone receiver inside the probe listens for the returning pulse and measures the time it takes. That time and the speed of sound are used to calculate the depth to water, which is displayed on the control unit within seconds. Since the speed of sound varies with temperature, a sensor inside the probe compensates the reading. Before taking readings with the sonic water level meter, here are some important factors to consider. The diameter of the well or pipe you are measuring in, any obstructions or potential interferences in your well, the downhole air temperature just above water level, the approximate depth to water if known, using the supplied disc to cover the well opening, and ensuring that the batteries in the control unit have enough charge. Let's talk about each of these tips in a bit more detail. The sonic water level meter uses six AA batteries that must be replaced when the voltage falls below 6.5 volts. To check the voltage, simply press the down arrow on the control unit after it's turned on. Sonic technology works best in wells with inside diameters less than eight inches. As diameter increases, the strength of the sound wave weakens, making it harder for the probe to detect the returning pulse. A drop tube can be used in this case, in a range from two inches in diameter down to about half an inch. Ensure that the drop tube extends below the maximum expected water depth. Drop tube diameter is entered into the control unit to compensate for a slower speed of sound in narrow tubes. Knowing what's down your well is very important so you can screen out any obstacles, such as a large step down in well casing or open well diameter, large couplings, centralizers, torque arresters, etc., which may reflect some of the sound wave, creating an erroneous reading. You can do this by programming the control unit with a minimum and or a maximum detection range. It should be noted, however, that things like cascading water, tubing, and cables going down the well are generally not an issue. As long as you have about 20% open space or more, you can get an accurate reading. For example, there's a large step down in the well casing. Here, a minimum detection range is set to just below that obstacle, so the probe will ignore any reflection from that depth. This can be done to avoid any obstacle such as a large bend or sudden change in direction in the well, which could reflect too much of the sound wave. It's important to note that in shallow wells, it's possible for the sound pulse to bounce back and forth many times. So without a maximum depth setting, the sonic water level meter may indicate multiple depths. In deep wells, especially with rough or porous well casing or well walls, Sound waves lose energy, so the sonic water level meter is forced to increase the gain or listen harder to detect the return signal. This can result in other noise, such as a downhole pump or even surface sounds being stronger or louder than the sonic meter's signal, thus causing incorrect readings. In both of these cases, to prevent incorrect readings, you should set the maximum range to a point just below 
your maximum expected water level. You can also set a minimum detection range below any collars or centralizers in the well to avoid reflection they may cause above water level. If the top of your well or pipe is open, then it should be covered, except for access for the sonic water level meter probe. This should not be airtight though. Solence includes a plastic disc with each sonic water level meter, providing a good option for covering many well openings. External noise from wind or a drill rig, for example, can be detected by the probe. Covering the well opening will help ensure that the sound detected by the probe is only the returning pulse, and it keeps the pulse from escaping the well. The seal around the probe doesn't need to be tight, so if you don't have the solids disc handy, or if your well setup doesn't allow for its use, a piece of cardboard or even a coat could be used to cover the opening. Knowing the typical temperature of the groundwater in your area is helpful. It does vary on location. But if you want more accuracy than just the default temperature, you can use an instrument such as the Solence Model 201 Water Level Temperature Meter to obtain an accurate downwell reading. Enter that temperature into the control unit so it can be used to further compensate the water level reading with more accuracy. In many cases, you're already familiar with the historical fluctuations in water level from previous well measurements, so you can use those values to your advantage. You can set the minimum and maximum detection levels to ignore obstructions and to zero in to your measurement zone. If the approximate depth of water is known, set the maximum depth to slightly deeper. Set the minimum range to avoid detecting return pulses from a shallower depth. For example, if depth to water is usually between eight and nine meters, set your minimum to around seven meters and the maximum to say 10 meters. If you run into any issues or need to remove any previously programmed parameters, the fastest way to start fresh is to use the factory reset option in the menu to return to the default settings. Then start adding in parameters such as temperature and the min and max values if the reading you get is not as expected. A traditional water level meter that uses a tape and probe is still an important tool to use for initial measurements, but a sonic water level meter is a great option for ongoing measurements and is ideal in many scenarios. Sonic water level meters are very useful if you have a bit of background on your monitoring environment and know where the obstructions are. They are also ideal when you have a lot of wells to measure with limited time, or in wells that have difficult access, or at sites where equipment is not allowed to enter the well or touch water surface. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our next video that shows how to set up the sonic water level meter in the field.